day. Rams are gone and the castle's not gray. Chapex run in the show, they say, oh no. There's a reckoning on Wall Street. Analysts turning up the heat. Chapex fudge in the balance sheet. Gotta go. Who can save us? The people sing. In all the parks and at Disney Springs Who has the power to shed some light Bring on the cast of news tonight Save our theme parks, help us win Save us all from the shit we're in JPEG sucks, but I know this can't be the end There's a future you must know the dumbest show is in you right because we got to hear you say Rough, but we're you know strong And Disney the Choros are still the bomb We love a ride So Bobby you don't belong So get going Prices and trash cans of boat sky high Spike the beast for us For margaritas and fries Harmony is gorgeous Just tell me why Get, get them gone Yes the theme parks are on the brink you pay more, but the portion shrink. Where are the 80s, Eisner and Wells? New team assemble when no one sells. Save us from something must be said. This evil man tried to end free bread. That sucks, but I know this can't be the end. There's a future, but you must know. You are From WDWNT Celebration near the Walt Disney World Resort, it's WDW News Tonight with Tom Borlas and Nicholas Cicero. Tonight, I tried to le- read other languages and I can't even read English. I'm lost in translation. 
We must go. A discussion of Disney Parks travel or inspired travel. See what I mean? The music of Piano Rob and more. I'm Nicholas Cicero. Now here's your host, Tom Corliss. I'm just not going to write it. Just, just improv it every week. If, if that one's so bad, just wait for the game. Because last week, you, I forgot to write it last week, right? Yeah. It too, yeah. It's flawless. And you did fine, yeah. 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 And then this week, you couldn't read it. Yeah. yeah. Throw out the script. <laughs> you probably need more on that sheet, no? <laughs> nah. No? Do I? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> nah. I didn't really might write much for this week. We're good. We kind of, last week, we had the cold open. We had We're in the World. There's not much of a show tonight. But yeah. People came, so I guess we'll do something. We'll do something, yeah. Wow. Uh, Bobby Keys is here. Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. There you go. <laughs> wow. Silencing me already. Weird. Same thing happened to Sabrina, she said. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like having an eject button that we didn't know about it. Mm. That's actually the please stand by is like the show eject button. That's what they anytime I make fun of Stitch that pops up on the screen. Now everybody knows the piano's fake. So. <laughs> oh well. There uh, goes that illusion. No, but the the pirate bats are very real. <laughs> piano's fake, but the characters are real. Yeah. Oh <laughs> shut up, Sabrina. Um, and Joe. Hello, I'm Tom Corliss, and we're going to keep playing that cold open until I'm tired of it. All right. So, brace yourselves. Oh, no. There'll never be another cold open again. Please, please hit the like button, subscribe, and if you're really enjoying this for some reason, you can leave a super chat here on YouTube. Your donations will be used uh, to protect the studio from wild bears outside of those that already work here or play the guitar. <laughs> If they work here or play the guitar, it's fine. Yeah. But otherwise, we need to keep the bears out. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I, I see you, you picked a certain shirt. Oh, I did. Yeah. Can we? You got the one shot of Bobby Keys? Oh, you want show it? This, show this. I, I like <laughs> oh, look, it's a shirt with three places you haven't been and a place you have been. Yes. Yeah. Let's guess which one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I remember the Bronx, I, I, I can count on one hand the number of times I went to Staten Island. It's very far. It's very uh, I've been to all three. Well, actually, I've been to two of those three cities above more than I've been to Staten Island. That's funny. In fairness, <laughs> that's, that's absolutely that's true. Funny. Yeah. We were talking places today, so I put this shirt on, yeah. even though I knew you'd hate it. Paris, London, Tokyo, Staten Island. I feel, I feel like uh, my cousin Vinny, like, I wore this ridiculous thing. For you. For you. <laughs> For you. That's why I got my Boston shirt on. Yeah. Can't yeah. see it. Boston. Okay. I have one place. Huh? One place. One place? Yes. All right. Well, since we've already spoiled the whole content of the discussion. Anyway. <laughs> it's, it's a great show tonight. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you, we have, we have painstakingly prepared for this all week. <laughs> and not just the last two hours. So. Let's just say, thank goodness there was a bear at Magic Kingdom, or else we'd have nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's... That's fair. That was like that week you weren't here in Chapek News Story. Yeah. Came out. yeah. But the air, the air condition went on. All right. <laughs> They're working on it. Jake's up there with a wrench hitting the. Hitting it. Working on it. Should we do the news? News. news. Yeah. There's, there, we wrote some things. I can't speak for the quality of them, but we wrote, we wrote things. Uh, on Monday morning, prior to park open, cast members spotted a bear in a tree at Magic Kingdom near Big Thunder Mountain Railroad in Frontierland. Yeah, it turns out wild animals are what's beyond Big Thunder. <laughs> we, figured, we figured it out. What's, what's back there? It's wild animals. Uh, since the park was not yet open to guests, Adventureland, Liberty Square, and Frontierland experienced a delayed opening, and guests were kept out of the lands while the search was on for the bear. Yeah, the bear was in a tree... Uh, as he was trying to get construction pictures of Tiana's Bayou Adventure <laughs> for us. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> That's the only way we can get away with it. 
Uh, of course, during the fall, bears are more active as they search for food to pack on fat reserves for the winter. You know, like a guest at the Food and Wine Festival. <laughs> <laughs> Before they go away for the winter, gotta pack it on. Uh, I will have that. I will have that second uh, Irish coffee float. You know. <laughs> Uh, this particular bear was likely moving through the area searching for food. Uh, like most of us at Magic Kingdom, he didn't find anything he could eat. <laughs> um, <laughs> he spit out a churro, and just, uh, pretzel stale. Uh, yes, by the, by the way, people didn't know this, there are bears in Orlando. There are. Uh, normally, they're seen in groups during gay days, but this is... <laughs> but, but this one was... Yeah, they, they do pop up from time to time. Uh, at the time, though, the following attractions were closed to guests. There was Big Thunder Mountain, the Railroad, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, the Enchanted Tiki Room, the Jungle Cruise, the Magic Carpets of Aladdin, the Swiss Family Treehouse, the Hall of Presidents, and the Haunted Mansion. Although, I do have to say, Pirates was closed due to the bats, and, and the birds closed the Magic Carpets again. So it wasn't, it wasn't all the bears' fault. Some was other, other wildlife in the park. Uh, the FWC says the bear is doing well after being relocated to the uh, Lake and Marion County line last uh, earlier in the week. Uh, the video of the bear's release can be seen on the West 2 website. Uh, it sees rescuers banging on the top and the sides of a large crate, encouraging the bear to leave. And one rescuer even yelled, good bear, good bear, go, 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 uh -huh. like a sports chant. Uh -huh. And the bear will be uh, the new quarterback of the New York Jets next, uh -huh. this coming weekend, I've heard. There's big expectations for the bear. Uh, the bear incident, of course, went viral, led to many jokes and memes across the internet, mainly about the Country Bear Jamboree and the recently announced Country Bear Musical Jamboree. Turns out the bear was actually protesting the changes to the show, since I wouldn't. He's like, if you're not going to do anything, I'll take this into my own paws. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Uh -huh. Afterward. Afterwards, Disney distributed a press release that reported the bear was safely released into a local forest and expressly denied that the bear was going to be replaced by a Toy Story marionette show. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, was not, that was never the plan. Uh -huh. They were going to put it up in the tree. Enjoy it. According to a new filing with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the Walt Disney Company will spend $60 billion in the next 10 years to expand and enhance the Disney parks all around the world, as well as the Disney Cruise Line's capacity. Yeah, in fact, they'll be using all of that money to build an actual galactic star cruiser yeah. that goes into space. Because <laughs> the one on Earth went so well, they're going to send one actually up there. And after 50 cruises, you get your name written in the sand on Tatooine. Mm. <laughs> in 50, you can join the, the Sail Away Club or whatever. It, I don't know. What, it, what would it be, Nick? What's a Star Wars thing? It could, what kind of club could it be? Uh, you know Star Wars stuff. The Lightyear Club? Oh. What's, the, what, what's the name of the whales? Speed what, Speed that's club? that's not a know. Star Wars thing. Yeah. Um, that's Toy Story. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> What are the space whales called? Purgles. Purgle? The Purgle Club? Sure, Club oh. Purgle. Love it. Club Purgle? Yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> could be the next Club Penguin. <laughs> Club Purgle. Yeah, you were on Club Penguin, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's why I closed. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, anyway, $60 billion is twice what Disney spent in the last 10 years on the Disney parks and on the cruise line, and more than 400 times what they've spent on Disneyland Paris in that time. Which is just because of nothing. Thank, thank you, Robert. Thank you. The, the French viewers are, are dying. They're dying. Uh, Disney stated they, had over, they have over 1,000 acres of theme park land they can expand on with this $60 billion, and it'll only displace a few hundred black bears. <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> won't, you won't see another one. Uh, the land, in fact, is equivalent to seven... Seven? Yeah, seven Disneylands in size, or one Disney's Hollywood Studios parking lot. <laughs> it's about the, about the same size. Disney is removing the 50th anniversary icons from the Fab 50 statues across Walt Disney World. Disney does everything on time. Yeah, just, just in time for the end of the 50th anniversary. That's the one now, right? The platinum thing? That's the 50th? I think so. 
Uh, this is good, though, because I told the staff we are not removing the 50th anniversary logo from the WDWNT app until the last Fab 50 icon is removed. Nah. So that's what we've been waiting for. The three people that use the app are dying. <laughs> <laughs> In other news, Disney opened up their first Costco on Walt Disney World property this week. Oh, I'm being told that was actually the Passholder shopping event. I'm sorry. <laughs> At the ESPN Wide World of Sports. The event takes place through September 23rd in the Advent Health Arena. And of course, an arena is fitting as all the resellers are competing to buy merchandise no one else wanted to begin with. Man, they're a real smart group of people. <laughs> if no one bought this at $50, I can buy it at $25 and sell it. Yeah, that's going to work out. Mm. You're, you're going to be fine. Guillermo del Toro was set to direct a Star Wars movie. Yeah, he's going to direct the Star Wars movie. Uh, in the movie, Jar Jar Binks would have had a torrid love affair with a human woman from Naboo. And then a giant C-3PO would have fought a, a battle with a giant battle droid. Yeah. No one's seen any Guillermo del Toro no. movies. That's great. <laughs> remember, remember the movie where the woman falls in love with the fish guy? That was Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> oh, yeah. It won the Academy Award for Best Picture, by the way. For the record. <laughs> Anybody okay, who watches a best picture is not watching I'll the leave, show. I know. I'll leave <laughs> all the, the remaining jokes tonight will be about the Paw Patrol movie and Barbie and Super Mario. So there don't worry, go. everybody. I'll, 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 lower, I'll lower the bar a little. Anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. The Tory... Oh, man. The Tory Gate Bridge at the entrance of San Francisco Square has some damage already, yeah. Uh, with some of the panels, are, they're popping off, and some have been cut into so they fit on the, on the existing bridge. And somehow this is still the best version of the Golden Gate Bridge in the history yeah. of Disney California Adventure. Somehow. You see, the entrance used to have, there was another Golden Gate Bridge, and the monorail was there. with a fish. That was the movie. She slept with the fish. <laughs> slept with the fish, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. That wasn't the worst joke. The one no one laughed at, but the three people laughed at that bridge joke, Jake. Three people. That was three more than the Guillermo del Toro joke. <laughs> Man. Disneyland Resort is currently looking for cast members who are inline skaters for a unique experience coming to the resort. The audition posting does not have any more information about what the show will be. You know, I accidentally applied for this, uh, thinking they were looking not for inline skaters, but for people with online haters. <laughs> I, I, I misread. I misread it a little bit. The monorail, oh boy, this is gonna go over great. The monorail at Disneyland Resort may be extended to run throughout Anaheim to future parking garages and theme parks as part of Disneyland Forward, yeah. Does this mean people are going to be sleeping at the station now? I don't... <laughs> Welcome aboard the Disneyland monorail. Eating, drinking, and open liquor, co liquor containers are not allowed on board. And please do not lay down across the benches. Also, no stray cats. Thank you. It's Anaheim joke. <laughs> Thank you, Sabrina, as always. A new McDonald's location uh, is coming to the Disney Village in Paris as part of the shopping center's uh, ongoing reimagining. Concept art reveals a modern look for the new McDonald's featuring greenery and M-shaped foliage. You know, colors not present in McDonald's food. <laughs> the McDonald's currently at Disney Village features the iconic golden arches over the entrance, but this location will remain open while the new one is under construction, so don't worry. Guests will not miss the rare delicacy mm -hmm. of McDonald's. Of course, you know, all the French guests really need the McDonald's. You know, Merlot and some chicken McNuggets. They go really well together. You ever had wine and, <laughs> you ever had no. wine and McNuggets? <laughs> you dip them in it. <laughs> Might not be bad. It's got to be better than some dipping sauces. Let's try it. Did you try it? You got wine in the, yeah. is there wine in the yeah. cabinet? No, there's not. Yeah. Yes, there is. We have wine? We have so much wine. We don't have chicken McNuggets. Well, I think this is champagne. Yeah, no, we're not. You can't, you can't put champagne and McNuggets together. 
That doesn't go together. Pinot Noir. <laughs> right there. From oh. Casablanca Wasn't Valley. Wasn't a character on Ahsoka this week? <laughs> Pinot Noir? This is the wine of Chile. Tom. This is what? The wine of Chile. Of Chile? Yes. Oh. It's a beautiful 2017 vintage. <laughs> Pairs well with a McNugget. Someone should go get us McNuggets now so we can try this. I'm sure this is a quality wine. What's the brand? Cruz Andina. Cruz Andina. I don't know. This is a preview, yeah, a preview of tonight's game. <laughs> reading the wine. Reading Eight the months wine. in French oak barrels, so it has a French connection. There we go. There, so yeah, it's a French oak barrel well, that's located probably somewhere in Anaheim. So it says serve at 57 degrees with pasta and risotto. Ooh. Doesn't nice. say anything about McNuggets. It doesn't say anything about no. McNuggets. No. It's always good when the wine bottle tells you what to serve it with. Yeah. I always find that's the mark of a quality wine, when it says what to eat with it. Mm. You smelling it? Yeah. It's got to be bad. That, that can't have aged well. What? There's no way that half open screw yeah. top Five-year-old screw top Pinot Noir from Walmart cannot be good yeah, there we go. at this point. I'm assuming it's from Walmart. Probably is. Like all the liquor in the liquor cabinet. Oh, we have a beautiful um, Moscato Dasti. Da 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 what? A Moscato Dasti from 2020. What? I still don't know what you said. Moscato Dasti. Dasti? Dasti. <laughs> That's definitely what it this says. This one's from Italy. What do you eat with it? What does it say? <laughs> uh, the perfect choice as an aperitif or with cheeses or light nuggets. <laughs> oh, wait, that's desserts. I got the light desserts, sorry. <laughs> Maybe, are we going to learn in the end that it's just you need new glasses? Like, <laughs> it turns out you can read. You just like have been Mr. Maybe. Magoo in it for a long time. <laughs> Kid, Katie, Mr. Magoo. Well, <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's more news here. Might as well read it. Construction on the McDonald's is scheduled to begin in September of 2024. The new location will be ready by early 2026, <clears throat> so still faster than a water play area at Epcot. <laughs> the three-story McDonald's. The three-story French McDonald's. Hmm. Has a tower on the top. Universal Studios Japan will be celebrating No Limit Christmas with new and returning offerings, including Frosty's Electric Snow Party. Yeah, dive into a vortex of light and sound with this new Christmas show featuring a new character, DJ Frosty, yeah. and other entertainers. This is real, by the way. Jake, we have the real press image of DJ Frosty. This is, <laughs> we did not make this, to be clear. This is actually a thing. DJ Frosty. Someone was definitely in the powder. I don't know. <laughs> Frosty, the DJ, was a douchey soul, they say, with a drug-laden pipe and a glow stick nose and two very red eyes behind his sunglasses. <laughs> That's the song. That's, good. No one sang along. Did no one else sing that growing up? Mm, I thought no. that would be a thing. What is, what is happening? I didn't really want to alarm anybody, but uh, there, there may be a bear <laughs> loose around here. Please remain calm. Do not move for any exits quickly. Just be very quiet. We're just going to, I'm a trained professional. <laughs> I don't think he's under the, the chair. He is not. Nor is he behind one, so we're okay. good there. Excuse me, pardon me, hi. You think there's a yes. bear in the studio? There's, there's a bear. Uh, special Agent Rick, that's a last name, not a first. People get confused with that all the time. There's a bear in the studio. There's a bear. There's... Okay. <laughs> 
It is not, in fact, in there. We're good here. <laughs> there's just a, there's a just gremlin in there, Nixon. There is. There's the so teleprompter I am gremlin. Slowly backing away. Yeah. I am not trained to handle gremlins. No, your your division does no. not handle. You're not going to take care of the gremlin. Nope. No. We are strictly just. bats, possums, gators, and bears. Magic Kingdom Wildlife Commission. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't put the possum on there. He fell off. Definitely Magic Kingdom, then. Yes. If an animal just fell off. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We got rid of a lot of animals when they closed down Splash Mountain. Oh, we <laughs> just cleared the place out. Were they relocated to a... To, to... Well, ironically enough, they were relocated to Splash Mountain originally. Yeah. Yes. And then where were they relocated to after that? A secret little space. <laughs> Can't talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Swarm to secrecy. I'm kind of in the middle of a show. Can I get back to the show? Can you go look like out there for the bear? Well, let me check one more. I, it's, it's a bear. Just... It's going to be behind it could be there, Tom. These beautiful Thank pillows. You. you don't know where a bear can and can't go. You're <laughs> what not a if bear you expert. What had a bear skin rug and it wasn't an actual rug? These are these Among are Among all the bear memorabilia in this building, there are no rugs, so I'm, I'm, I think we're okay. You collect bear things. That sounds Nick, suspicious, Nick Tom. Nick also collects bear things, but it's spelled differently. Oh. <laughs> Not my division. Oh, wow. Well. Can you yes. can I continue? We have to see I what... will head and find this bear collection. I have to see what's streaming on Disney Plus this Tom, time. Tom, do you what? think we're OK, or should we, like? No, we're get... fine. You sure? No. OK. We stayed here through the roach infestation. We stayed here through the rat one. We can survive a bear. All right, but, you know, if you say so. That's fine. Just everybody, just keep your feet, you know, continuing with that, just keep your feet off the ground. What if there's a bear in my podium? There's no bear I in the podium. I am here to check it out. Ma'am, I wouldn't go in that podium. I just. <laughs> You're going to find something. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm only Way kidding, sir. Sure. That was far too easy. Don't do that well, to me. Yes. No bears? You're, you're it's, bear free. it's bear. Yeah. Bear, bear free. All right. Yes, pardon me. Thank you. You're welcome. No bears here, Tom. No bears. Just double checking. We are good to go. Let's see what's happening this week on Disney Plus. I hope it's not bear related. <laughs> Probably is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Churro bear. <laughs> Do they like churros? <laughs> Lucas, the bears like churros? <laughs> Only Disneyland bears? I would like to say <laughs> we have found the problem. You got the, you got the bear? We got the bear. No, I think it was in the merchandise shop up front. It's not a shop. There was a collection museum. of them. That's my museum. I grabbed the one that yes, fit in the net. You're going to bend the tag, please. Thank you. It's... <laughs> there is, were others. Should is, I try one this, of them? No, no. This is a plush bear. This isn't alive. You understand that, right? It has a tag. I do now. It has a tag. Tom, I mean, I, it is, it I is in danger of extinction. Tag. It's a wishable. Uh-oh. <laughs> Tom, well, what if I... that bear merchandise is attracting bears? Did you ever think of that? Thank you. It's like bear bait. Right. Yes. They want to be with it's, their own kind. It's a thing. I'd Just... want to like to be with my own kind, sane people. Be... How's that working out <laughs> for you? It's not at all. Yes. <laughs> Rob, I'm going to need whatever you had before the show. Yes. <laughs> well. Clearly, that was a mistake. Clearly, yeah. It will not happen again. Yeah. I should avoid the one swinging from the chandelier. Though. Yeah, please, yeah. It's not the one swinging yes. from the ceiling, yeah. That one, was, I tried that one first, but it yeah. was hard to catch. It should have given it away that it wasn't real when it was swinging from a giant sunflower. 
That makes That's sense. That's not really a thing they do in the wild, swing on That's, sunflowers. Yeah. You're correct. It's normally tulips. Also, there was a male bear trying to get to her with a ladder. That's not normal. Yeah. That's maybe not where you come from, <laughs> sir. But I've... How do you think the bear got in the tree, I guess, right? <laughs> oh. oh, my God. He well, found that ladder, and he was right up. That's, that's right. Yeah. I am going to go back. It's okay. Remain calm. I've got this. You're going to keep looking for the bear? I am. I'm sure that's the last we'll see of her. What is this musical score that's happening? <laughs> it's you, sneaky. Would you rather, would you rather silence? Would <laughs> no, it's Nick good. <laughs> I like the silence because it allows me to think over all the bad decisions I've made in the previous <laughs> week. It's, I like the silence. I, you know, it was, there was so much confusion up here, I forgot that the news is brought to us by Wigs. This program is brought to you by Wigs, the WDWNT Inner Globe Could Society. Be confused Support WDWNT to get early and exclusive access to content you can't find anywhere else, including exclusive post shows for WDW News Tonight and Park Center, access to our prize wall, a monthly Zoom with Tom, access to our Discord community, early access to our events, and much more, starting at just $2 per month. For more information, visit patreon.com slash WDWNT or visit WDWNT.com and click the Patreon link. Join Wigs and unlock even more WDWNT. I assume we have some Wigs members here tonight. And some that are going to be canceling their membership after, after this program, probably. Uh, we, have a, we have a show tonight. Uh, lost in translation. Yeah, I read wine bottles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's come to. It's better. The Zoom last night, we literally read Google Maps for like 30 minutes. <laughs> no one had anything they wanted to talk about. I don't know. Uh, also, uh, we have a discussion about Disney Parks inspired travel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the crowd is really excited about tonight's show. <laughs> you know what we will be excited about? Super Chats! That part always goes over really well. Frontierland Bear, 199 blank Super Chat. Yeah! That's really nice of him. Get kicked out of his home and still give the same, like that's really nice. What are you banging, oh, you putting the wine away? I was putting the wine away. (laughs) Oh. Didn't mean to disturb your show. I saw Desi like creeping up over there looking at the wine, I don't know what's going on. What was, did you not, nothing to your liking? Peanut no- newer, no peanut newer. We don't have blue or green milk uh, out of a dispenser either. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm surprised you're here after all that blue and green milk on the Star Cruiser. Frontierland Bear, he sent another one. She sent another one, I should say. $4.99, just to set the record straight, I came in because I heard Chapek was looking to pet wild animals. Lesson learned never trust a hippo. <laughs> now, usually it's the hippos in the tree you have to look out for, not the bears, right? Kevin S. with the blank super yeah. chat. Seven. seven? Yeah, seven. Another RJ. More than one. Seven. seven. We are all very f- fortunate. <laughs> it's Thursday night. Uh, batting down the hatches for some fun. Have a great show. Later, Gators. <laughs> Sabrina, what? What, what did you and Rob have before the show tonight? Oh. I didn't do anything. Well, for yourself, Rob. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Care Bear 7. Seven. Yeah, seven. Thanks for always giving us a good laugh. Is she talking to us? <laughs> nah. That can't be right. Sarah, Sarah Warner 7. seven. Annie Maytronic, best Disney villain ever. That was Where in the World last week. If you haven't watched it, please check it out. Yeah. You can clap for that, sure. Why not? Yeah. It's certainly better than anything we've got tonight. <laughs> Go back and watch last week's show if you missed it. Don't watch this one. Just shut this one off. Uh, Jason Champagne, seven. Everyone's going to leave seven now. Corliss the Musical is a better fit for the Tree of Life than Zootopia. Nah. <laughs> uh, we are replacing Dinosaur, I believe. <laughs> There are, in fairness, there are more animals on this show than have been in any Indiana Jones movie. So uh, we, we do have more to do uh, with Animal Kingdom than Indiana Jones. That's true. Uh, Bonnie C7. Uh, 
Tithing? Tithing? Is that a... Tithing. What is that? I've never seen this word in my life. <laughs> tithing. What is... It's the, the, the... I'm guessing it's church related. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a donation to the church, a tithing. Oh, that's not a thing we called it in New York. They just were like, give us money, and they shook the basket. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Tithing for the Church of Figment or Bear Retrieval, your choice. It's, it's the Church of Figmentology. Is that, that's, we're not affiliated, by the way. I'm not allowed to say on the air that we are. Um, that's a, they bought the ad space. I have nothing to do with that. So take it up with them if you're offended by the ad, please. Um, move on. <laughs> JC Bobbitt, 499. My fiance just told me she looks forward to the show every week because it keeps me occupied from nine on so she can read it. Uh, uh. Do you have a Disney fan spouse? Well, for two hours a week, we will babysit them for you. You can find time to do all sorts of things. You can can and clean the oven. You can do all sorts of things. You can read a book. What's a book, said the Floridian viewers. Well, a book. Is something you warm. It keeps you warm. It's like a blanket. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, $5. Mama Corlesa said she's proud of you in the chat. Tell her you love her. I'll tell her tomorrow when I see her. I'll see her on, on the way to Paris, stop on a JFK. I'll, in the Sky Club, I'll say, hello, mama. <laughs> Care for cheese and meats? <laughs> May I get you a peanut noir? <laughs> <laughs> They're all you can drink. With American Express. Uh, let's find. Oh no, I read that already. I'm reading the wrong screen now. Kyle Davis, five dollars. Maybe I had some peanut noir. <laughs> Kyle Davis, five dollars. Long time absence, but I'm sure you miss my Phil Collins references. But you may not. I don't know. Who am I to judge? But Phil Collins, I love you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I think this deserves. Do you have some romantic Phil Collins music? Oh, so yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> you'll be in my heart. Yes, you'll be in my heart. From when? From this day on now. <laughs> now and what? <laughs> Forevermore. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do that whole sound. That's a great soundtrack. I mean, it's. He didn't have to go that hard, but he did. But he right? did. Yeah, it's true. He could have went a little less hard in that and a little more hard on Brother Bear. Oh, I don't agree. I know you don't. On my, tell everybody I'm on my way is fantastic. I love it. It's great. There's some good ones, but it's not tart. It's not tart. <laughs> what was that, Sabrina? Did someone say Brother Bear? Oh, no. <laughs> no, there's no bears. <laughs> There's no bears. Now there's two of them. Uh, Is there a sister involved? I've heard there might be three of them. It's now turned into a counting episode. Today's show is brought to you by the number three. <laughs> three. <laughs> wow. That would be about our, our knowledge. That, that's about our audience's level. <laughs> we'll start having a letter and number of the week for all of you. They watched my boyfriend for two hours, and he learned the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> he can spell now. <laughs> Thanks, WDWNT. Uh, he can read with me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's... Instead what of thank movie thank won the Academy Award? What movie he talking about? <laughs> wow. The only nominated movie I've seen is the Batman one. Uh -uh. Instead of thank the Phoenician shirts, we make thank the News Tonight cast shirts. They'll go crazy, bro. <laughs> Remember your ABCs? Thank, thank News Tonight. We are going to learn some foreign languages later tonight. <laughs> so I'm excited They haven't about learned that. the native one. You're going to introduce foreign yeah. languages? <laughs> God. You got more of these. It's only 9.40, it's fine. Kyle Davis, $2, I'm also a bottle in. Nice. I hope he means NyQuil. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, there are more. Duke, Duke Kaboom with the Kaboom. Is that how you spell Duke Kaboom? Is it C or is it K? Hmm. I don't know. 499 for batteries. 
to get Rex working. I'd love to hear him talk. The batteries are in it. <laughs> it's on. I never thought to take the batteries out of it, honestly. Now I'm going to get a call from my father. I told you with Tor collectibles, don't leave the batteries in the acid will leak. <laughs> I'll get yelled at. That'll also be my Sky Club experience tomorrow. Nah. Getting yelled at about leaving batteries in toys. I told you earlier, I said you were going to make fun of me on the show again. I was right. <laughs> That's literally a thing he said to me today. Uh -huh. He was right. I told you. Kyle Murray, Canadian 279. That's almost nothing. That's <laughs> nah. almost, this is like nothing. Canadian 279 is worth 209. I don't believe that. I don't believe you. Leave another super chat so I can check. <laughs> joking, Kyle. Thank you. Uh, Mike McDowell, $5. Coming soon to Disney Plus is Churro Bear. Yeah, that's what it said. <laughs> I assume that was left before the graphic played, I'm going to assume. Chloe Rogers, 499. If the bear is a quarterback, can it replace Justin Fields? Someone like, just <laughs> nodding. The crowd just going like this. Oh. Justin Fields, of course, that's Mrs. Fields' son. <laughs> heir, to the, heir to the Mrs. Fields' cookie fortune. Mrs. Fields still exists, that's the whole thing. I mean, malls don't exist, so I, I don't think, know Mrs. Yeah, Fields. Yeah, I know, that's, that's, that's weird. That and Orange Julius, have we lost both of those to time at this point? <laughs> we may have, we yeah. may have. Well, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Katie, Orange Julius. <laughs> <laughs> he was an Oompa Loompa, Katie. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> he was the ruler of them, Orange Julius Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle F, 1999. We had a ton of fun seeing the show in person for the first time last week. It was the highlight of our trip. Everyone was fantastic. From Kyle and Gumshoe Ben. Aww. Yeah, you guys came to a good one. You didn't miss anything not being here this week. It's, you picked a good one. <laughs> the people in the, are you insulting people our in the audience? audience are so mad at me. <laughs> uh, they're actually just they're Disney PR executives. It's, that's why. Steve Marmelstein, seven. seven. Upon closer inspection, Florida Wildlife... Uh, disclosed what they previously assumed was a wild black bear it was allegedly just Pete Warner on a bender. <laughs> wow. Colonel Chrome, another Star Wars character. 499, Nick, get to the parking lot. There's a bear in the maxi van watching that thing you do and using the foot bath. I wish. <laughs> you wish? Oh my God. <laughs> JC Bob at 499, I open the app once a week just to see if the 50th logo is <laughs> So do I. Anyway. Uh, hold, no. <laughs> 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 no. Nice. Again, the, the level of this audience. It's, <laughs> that's the hardest they've laughed all night. Guillermo del Toro lawnmower. I don't know who that is. No idea. Mark Buffardi, seven. Seven. Yeah, seven. Sabrina is a national treasure. Aw, yeah. 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 Is she here tonight? I haven't seen her. I, uh, just, yeah. Much like a national treasure, we have to go in search of her. Uh, yeah. Mark Buffardi, seven. Seven. With all the drinking Nick does, you'd think he could read a wine label. You would think. Whiskey label I got. <laughs> Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof, Tennessee whiskey. There's Lynchburg, still some of that Tennessee. left. Yeah. Oh. Not yet. We'll see how the rest of the show goes. Yeah, leave that out. <laughs> leave, that, leave that out. Samuel Voldata, $5. Tonight's show is really unbearable. <laughs> Davey, why would you do that to my next of skin? <laughs> uh, Disney Mike 23499, I left Walt Disney World last Friday. Barely missed the excitement, waka waka. <laughs> would you like a writing job? <laughs> nah. John Coyne 199 for the chicken nugget fun. <laughs> I'm hating it. Me to the show. 
Josh Hopkins, 99.99. Wow. Yeah. And it's bling. Thank you so much, Josh. Only we only have like like 800 more dollars to pay off that cold open. <laughs> so we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. Jacinto Rodriguez, 499. Do you guys have an interview with the Frontier Line Frontier Line Bear? I like to hear his part of the story. Oh, uh, we haven't been able to get one. Swansea Searcher, $5. Rather watch that crappy opener than 30 seconds of Disney food. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. Sam Fritz, 109. The 49ers lead the Giants 17 6 at the half. Woo! 10 bucks says that game is over long before this show. <laughs> Even though we have nothing on it, it will still be over first somehow. Uh, Ale Veris R? What kind of money? What? Russian? That can't be Russian. What? I don't know what currency that is. Twenty-seven ninety. In order to face Hogsmeade, should Disney have a drink called Butter Bear? <laughs> still pretty good. In Soviet Russia, bear drinks you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's Russian money. I, Brazilian. God. Brazilian? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. That's, that's neat. Someone's watching in Brazil. I don't think we've, we've known there's people watching in Brazil. That's neat. It's $5.65. Uh, that's $5.65. No, oh, it's the thought that. It's the thought that counts. Thank you for doing the conversion for us, though. I appreciate it. The trauma factor, $5. The bear got more media attention than any announcement from this year's D23. They may need to find an opening the bear for their bear on the marketing team. The bear can't do worse than Thomas Smith. So... A little bear told me. Anyway. Meemin and Dreamin. Seven. Seven. They keep coming. You guys are going to need this more than I will after tonight's show. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dar Dar Jinx 999. Shout out to Katie for rocking the board tonight. Katie, working the soundboard. That's, that's Darius who used to work here. I don't know. He's never here. I don't, I don't know. Does he still work here? I have no idea. Oh. He must still work here because usually people only leave the company after cursing me out. So he hasn't done that. He hasn't done that yet. So he must still work here. <laughs> God. Oh, boy. Oh, man. A full hour of this show has gone by. Just about. Just for the record. And we've done absolutely nothing. 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 It's a show about nothing. It's the best show yet, you think? Well worth it. It's a, it's a low bar. Anyway, or, oh no, there's more. PJM Entertainment 499, this show is brought to you by the number three, as in Goldilocks and the Three Bears. That's again about the level of this audience. Yeah. And the letter B, B for bears. B is also for break, which we're about to go on right now. <laughs> Stick around, kids! <laughs>
All this and more on WDW Bet. Available now through the Disney World website. might be on no you're ruining my bit it's supposed to be like nobody knew and i'm like in a side thing and i'm not really wearing a microphone uh, well hi hi um very naturally rob, piano rob yes um, yes eric so we didn't make any jokes about the trams coming back yeah which is kind of a big deal okay so can you write a song real quick about trams and now yeah, like now, like, like it's, this is the time when you play songs. So, we I, I can't just write on the, the, on the spot or anything. Guess who just got back today? Them parking trams that had been away. Oils change people right this way, but man, still these folks are lazy. Man, they were asking if you were around. How you was where you could be frowned Told them you were still down, down Driving all the old people crazy The trams are back in town The trams are back in town oh, The trams are back in town You know how we used to walk a lot Every day from the door or crush parking lot Man, when I wasn't cool, it was red hot I mean, it was really steaming and the time over at Figment's place. Well, we had to walk so far, it was like some Disney race. Man, I can't take this pace. If you couldn't keep up, I just left you. But now the trams are back in town. The trams are back in town. Well, the trams are back in town. Something like that. The trams are back. The trams are back. <laughs> Welcome back to News Tonight. We are live. What? We had a week to write this show, and he made that up on the spot? Yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, it was good. That was really good. I, I didn't say we, we had a week to write this show. We only used the last two hours. <laughs> it's not even a joke. Uh, let's find out the Disney Park's incorrect fact of the week. OK, bye. <laughs> Oh, we're back. The Avengers shop at Property Control at Walt Disney World. Uh, then they bring the merchandise back to their vault store and sell it at full price. <laughs> <laughs> then who was phone? Wow. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Take from the poor and give to the rich. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah. No, because they're selling the, the the Infinity Gauntlet stuff was all on sale, and now they're selling at full price at Disneyland. The Avengers are no wonder Tony Stark has all this money. Yeah. <laughs> He's a rat bastard. Anyway, uh, so the discussion this week. Uh, this is another one I think Allison pitched. Actually, she's not here. But, no, she's uh, out. She's out doing. She's out seeing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Castaway Key. Very. <laughs> remote destination. Um, but the, the idea for the discussion was Disney Parks inspired travel. Their places, um, you know, obviously the Disney Parks and, and you know, the resorts, the, the, the themed lands, various attractions imitate real life places, right? There's a lot of real life inspiration in the parks. Um, but has any of that ever inspired you to go to the places that inspired the theme park land attraction resort, whatever the case may be? So... Um, that is our discussion. We must go, which of course is a line from Impressions de France. Uh, and uh, so we wanted to find out if there's anywhere anyone here on the panel has been before that was inspired by, like, oh, I've seen that at Disney. That seems like it might be kind of cool to go there. Maybe. Um, so we have 
uh, Piano Rob, who makes up songs on the spot. <laughs> we got uh, Sabrina, who hasn't been here all night until right now. Where did you come from? I fell asleep in the break room. <laughs> uh, we don't have a break room. Uh, national uh, Julie, Julie let her You sleep mean over. the toilet? <laughs> that, that makes, that makes uh, way more sense about the smell. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the bear used it, probably. <laughs> Uh, At least he put the seat down. Desi <laughs> came back from space for us, and uh, Eric, Eric is here. I don't have this soft flex like Desi with the Shindrilla <laughs> shirt on. Oh, you think this is like, a flex? Oh, I just got off. Of it. <laughs> just off the Star Cruise. We haven't yeah. gotten started yet. <laughs> I'm like, I just got back from Disney Springs. <laughs> so I'm not sweating it either. I just got back from the Columbia store <laughs> at Disney <laughs> Springs. <laughs> Oh An immersive one-hour experience, <laughs> the Columbia store. I'm cosplaying as a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Can we all just go to dinner at Disney Springs in character? Like, we'll just portray, like, other tourists. We all just pretend to be a, a group of tourists from somewhere and just go to dinner at Planet Hollywood. And just, they would never right? even know, right? No, the, the server would just think we're real tourists. They have no <laughs> idea. There's nothing we could do that's any weirder than what a real guest has done in that restaurant, right? You're not wrong. And we all go in in Columbia shirts. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, so, uh, hmm. Desi, why don't you start us off? Is there somewhere you were inspired to go by the Disney parks? Th there's a whole lot of places. Um, okay. I... I have a goal in my life to be at every Epcot country in real life and every Soren location in real life. Okay, that's a good one. So, uh, Jake, I sent you some photos. Oh. So, this is when I went to Morocco. My husband gave me the choice. I honestly can't even remember what the other country was, but it was some other country or Morocco. And I was like, Morocco? Because it's an Epcot. That sounds like Jason during our March Madness. <laughs> it's in Epcot. So <laughs> I wanted I'm to so curious what country you turned down for this. <laughs> was it a competition or was the other country boring? We, no, we were in S Spain and he's like, well, let's take a, a flight to somewhere else that's close. So it might have been either Portugal you or Morocco. <laughs> 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 I know, you, no. thought, you thought the Star Cruiser was a flex Is this what it sounds like when I talk about my travel? <laughs> Please all steer just, the ghost Maybe street. I'll stop. That, listen, my, that face was the same face I made when she actually said, yes, I do have, <laughs> have a wet suit. <laughs> I just mean, oh picture us being in like, we're in Epcot at Mexico, like, you want to go to Norway? No, it's too far. Uh, <laughs> oh Darling, God. can we get the Gulf Stream to Morocco without refueling? <laughs> Did you guys reenact Casablanca? <laughs> so when I win, I legitimately thought of all of the countries that I've been to around world showcase and in the real world, this is the one that looked the most accurate. I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they had real artisans from the country come, yeah. Yeah, so it was beautiful. Jake, you can keep going. That's cool. Uh, also oh went to Germany. <laughs> Again, Epcot had to wear my Mickey ears. <laughs> wow. Keep going. Uh, turns out that does not bend at the top. The new <laughs> Schwanstein Castle. <laughs> new Schwanstein. <laughs> yep, keep going, Jake. Uh, Disneyland Paris, of course. Oh. And again, next one, Jake, does not bend. Um, I'll just cancel my trip next. <laughs> uh, Tivoli Gardens. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it is been there. It. Um, Sorry, gave, guys, there. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. <laughs> it's. It gave wow. Walt a lot of inspiration for Disneyland. I'm making notes in the back. <laughs> next one. So my son's first roller coaster was their Matterhorn. Aww. Okay. Next one. Uh, also went to the UK. Again, another Epcot country. Saw Aladdin on the West End. Next one. Uh, Egypt also doesn't bend. And yes, I'm wearing Mickey ears. Wow. <laughs> Next one. Uh, we did go to see the Matterhorn. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a, there was a wow. blizzard that day, so we had to uh, improvise. See, see is strong. See is strong. 
Yeah. Did you fit, did you see it though? With we your eyes? we eventually saw it, okay. but uh, it wasn't photographable. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, that's where the Disney parks have inspired. So how you, no Japan yet. So I had a trip planned to Norway for 2020. Okay. That got canceled, and I had a trip planned to Japan for 2021. That got canceled. Wow. I have been to every other Epcot country. Wow. My husband has been to Norway and Japan, but has not been to Canada. So that's the only one he's missing. Wow, Canada. That one's, <laughs> that's significantly easier. I've got Canada on lockdown. <laughs> right? Sabrina's like, I've been I to Canada. <laughs> East, west, and middle. She took a left of that big, like, shiny ball and kept walking. Sorry you didn't oh. marry a more worldly guy, <laughs> Tessie. Right, I've okay. been to Canada. I've been to Canada. <laughs> you could have done better. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, you thought the Star Cruiser was a flex. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Don't want to brag or anything, but... Wow. Sabrina, would you like to go next? Tell us all about Canada. <laughs> I've, I've only heard stories. It's so far. <laughs> <laughs> so far. Um, I, I was once on a, a, a bus from a gal from Canada. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, she was... Kind of the same thing. <laughs> um... Yeah, she was down doing the Disney College program. I was like, oh. um, no, I'm like, my Disney stuff has just inspired me to go see more Disney stuff. Like, yeah. I don't like that is the extent of yeah, um, all the commercials as a kid. Like, what inspired you? And the commercials of fireworks. I don't know. Um, no, I, I honestly like I. Like, we've wanted to go and do more of the Disney stuff to see, yeah. like, the Disney stuff. Um, so as far as, like, being inspired to go and see, like, places because of that, it's just, like, I want to go see what Disneyland Paris's stuff has to offer and, yeah. and Tokyo and different things like that. So that's, like, where I'm at with things. Like, They're good excuses to go to really good places. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I, I, yeah. I've kind of used it as an excuse to get my parents to go to places that they've never been, like yeah. Tokyo and Paris. Yeah. And it's even better if I can do it, like, because uh, my mom, aunt, and I, we did the, we did a Emerald Isle Disney cruise. Mm. So we, we were like, yeah, let's, let's go see the Emerald Isles on a Disney cruise ship. Yeah. That inspired us, like, to go. We're like, where does, where else does Disney cruise? Yeah. You know. Um, we haven't done the Disney Adventures yet. No, Allison has done that. The ABD, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think we've, like, we've talked about wanting to go do Hawaii because we want to go check out Alani. So, like, we are apparently just inspired to go see other Disney stuff. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. We are Disney people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, psh, Actual Eiffel Tower? No, I'm good. <laughs> I've seen Epcot's. It bends. How many times have you seen the Eiffel Tower, Tom? Uh, it'll be one next week. <laughs> so I am finally going after seven, yeah, seven <laughs> trips to Disneyland Paris. I'm finally going to the city. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know that. <laughs> no, it's a real thing. That's yeah. really funny. Yeah, no one ever wants to go. No one's a big fan that's been there before. So everyone's always like, eh. And I'm like, I'm not going to go alone. So... Because my parents are coming, and who knows if I'll ever get to go back. We, we have to do Eiffel Tower and yeah, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, Go eat a real yeah. croissant, right? All that jazz. But Rob. Yeah? Piano Rob, what do you, what do you got? <laughs> I, normally, Other than Staten Island. Normally, I'm so excited about the panel, because I usually feel I have something to contribute somewhat. Yeah. I have nothing to contribute to this week because wow. I don't I don't go in. Go I, sing about it. Yeah, right? Now you know how I normally feel. <laughs> I, think I have not You I haven't have, been anywhere ever? I I haven't been anywhere that I think of I saw it at Disney and then went yeah. there. Like I've been I've I've gone on vacations. But I haven't okay. gone overseas yet or anything like that. Um, there's a lot of domestic places inspired by yeah. like like what? I have them on my list. You have them? I want to hear them. Because maybe I this, have a bunch. I was trying to think if there's something I'm not thinking of. Like, I was thinking, you know, when I went to Cosmic Rays, Sonny yeah. made me want to go to U York City. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. But instead, you ended up at Staten Island, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and Figment inspired me to go into my imagination. I did that. 
And then, uh, and there was Inspiration Falls that inspired me to go. Wow. <laughs> Deeper into the jungle. And that's all I really have. That's all I have. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any good places yet. So I really actually want to hear where you Do you, you have a, play. you have a wish list? Do I have a, I would, eventually I hope to go, honestly, I, it's funny because Desi said it, but I was thinking the Soren places and the Epcot places, because those are the places that we see all the time. My parents just got back from a, a little European trip. They did Paris and Italy. So I would love, I would love to get to those places. It'll happen. It'll, next couple of years, it'll happen. Do you have a passport? I do have a passport. There you go. Yay. Because I went to a wedding in Mexico, like everybody else in Cancun. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I have not been to Mexico nor a wedding in Mexico. Yeah. I um, have, in fact, been to Mexico. There you go. You got North America just on the <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> wow. Eric. I guess starting more recently, I, without Disney, I don't think there's any reason I would have gone to Marceline, Missouri. Right. Um, which we did. That was yeah. a good time. Um, truly, though, uh, my it started with my brother when he was a CP here. Uh, he had... He, he had an infectious Norway infatuation. So he introduced me to it. I really wanted to go there. Yeah. Um, then when I was in the Marine Corps, I had an opportunity. I, I was probably, they probably were gonna tell me to go there anyway, but I kind of also made it known that I knew this deployment was going to Norway and I would like to go and I got to do that. Yeah, uh, That was amazing. Um, and I have been back there. I sent Jake a picture just cause Desi was sent in flex. Look, does that look <laughs> familiar to you? Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, it's the friendly, the friendly building. Yeah, that's uh, that's in Bergen. That area is called Briggen, a uh, very old area there. That um, has been reproduced again in a Disney park. That is in World of Frozen, okay. at Hong Kong Disneyland. They've copied the facades from the Norway Pavilion again. So later in life, I went back to Norway on a Disney cruise, and uh, one day we spent in an area called uh, Gearhunger, I think it's pronounced, yeah. and that is the, those are the fjords that kind of inspired some of the landscapes from Frozen. And I took a, I don't know if, if Jake has it yet or not, because I just, there you go. There's me and a ship right up in the middle of a fjord. That's uh, the Disney That so. looks so similar to what Alaska looked like. Yes. Yeah. I think Norway is a little bit more dramatic because the, uh, the, the mountains are so steep right yeah. next to you and you kind of have to navigate carefully between them. Yeah. Uh, that was amazing. And, was you know, it the, the wonder? Uh, that's the magic. Oh, it's the magic. Okay. Yeah. Um, Wonder usually is Alaska, and magic is usually Europe, or it had been yeah. in the past. So all that stuff. In the but no, well, that was a hot minute ago, right? When you uh, that was probably 2017, 2018. Yeah, I wasn't super familiar with the itinerary, so I didn't know. I don't know what what was going where at that time. For whatever reason, it seems like the Wonder spends its time like yeah, you know, on the west side there. But then the magic is going to San Diego, right? Yeah. Like, I don't I don't completely understand how they decide that, but mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know the. The Maleficent float caught on fire, so I was inspired to go to Firefest. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, in terms of uh, comparing, I've been to uh, World Showcase countries, uh, Norway, obviously, Mexico. Uh, have not been to China. Been to Africa. Is that a whole country? We just count that as a country a in Africa. No? But yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I was and in Egypt. Africa. I was heavily <laughs> armed at the time, but I was there. Um, <laughs> have not been to Germany. Been to America. Been to Canada. Uh, been to France for a hot, hot second and a half. I'm missing basically Japan, China, Italy, Morocco. Uh, Morocco. Mm -hmm. oh. All right, Nick. Yeah, I, I, well, I feel better about myself now because I, I'm pretty boring when it comes to traveling. I You're guess. You're welcome. And, and, yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You should be sitting up here with I, us. That's I, right. <laughs> Desi should never have gone first. I was so worried after she went. I was like, oh my goodness. Thank goodness uh, I broke that fall. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, so no, I you know I, I I really thought about it. I can never I can't say I really traveled anywhere because of something in a Disney park that inspired me to 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 do that. I mean, I have been to France and England when I was a kid. That wasn't inspired by. And I've been to Canada, uh, but other than that, like so I, you know I. I just you know visiting other parks of Disneyland obviously but yeah, no, yeah. nothing uh, nothing remarkable um, you know I, the uh, yeah I, it's not really like travel because it's like here in Orlando but the Disney parks inspired me to go to the hotel that Disney had its press conference in so I've been there 
They have, that, a little, I, they, they have a little tribute to I it. I think that counts. So just, you know, you something like that. You went to see something you wouldn't have gone to right. see otherwise. Right, yeah. So, you know, I was trying to think if I, if I had gone anywhere specifically like that. Not really, um, mm. unfortunately. So... Don't worry, my list isn't. Super, I'm sure it is. It's not super so, long. So go for it. Um, because yeah, because I didn't, you know, I, I agree with Sabrina's sentiment, but like I didn't go to Japan because I saw it in Epcot and thought that right. it was cool. Right. We went like there because of the park. Yeah. yeah. And it just so it turns out that I, I found the country way more fascinating than I ever found the pavilion. I never yeah. like like I like that. I always like the store. I always like Mitsukoshi. But I never walked through Mitsukoshi when I was young. I was like, man, I'd really like to go here. No. It never struck me in that way. But yeah. then you go to the actual place and think, this is actually fascinating and interesting. And, yeah. Um, but actual places that I wanted to go to because of Disney, number, Marceline. You just mm -hmm. said it. Marceline is, is the inspiration for Main Street and where Walt you know, grew up. So, yeah, I mean, very directly, like, I want to see the original Main Street USA. Like, that's the yeah. reason to go there. Absolutely. Is that worth a stop if you're going that way? I would try to go when something's going on. Mm -hmm. I would look at like what events they're having. I think it's worth it to wait until there's something going on there. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'd be bad if it's on the way if you're traveling between two major Just cities. Just the farm at least and, and Main Street. Yeah, yeah. But, but like I thought having the event and all that activity and all these like-minded people around and like all the people in town were, were being festive because it was the event. That was the right atmosphere. As yeah. a Disney fan, I think that's when you should go. And there are several times a year they do stuff. Oh, so. uh, you know why Nick would like it? The restaurant we had lunch at had ooey, gooey, gooey toffee cake. That's really? on their menu all the time. So their menu yeah. has stuff inspired by Disney. World. Really? Okay. They have the boathouse cocktail with the duck. Duck, duck, raz. Uh -huh. They yeah. make the duck, duck, raz at a restaurant in Marceline. It's pretty wild. <clears throat> their, I have to say this, their ooey, gooey toffee cake was different but probably as good as Liberty Tree. I think in the moment you said though. better, and then you... you Maybe. It was a different kind of, thing, though, because yeah. like, authentic... Because that's the region it's from, right? That's where that originates. Um, so it's a completely different thing from what Magic Kingdom Oh, yes, the you. toffee They're region too, of Missouri. No, <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's definitely like a thing people... Like, no one in the Bronx is making toffee cake. It's not a thing. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody from the Bronx is about to send this super chat. <laughs> I know. Look look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this guy? Here's your toffee cake. <laughs> <laughs> we got the toffee cake. God. Um, yeah, it was very different. But, but yeah, Marceline for sure. And obviously, I would have never went to Kansas City if we weren't in Marceline. And that was a very cool place to see. And Kansas City, there was something we visited in Kansas City that was because of a Disney park. And that is the TWA Moonliner. Yeah. The TWA Moonliner rocket, which you may recognize, it's a thing from Disneyland, right? So if you go to Disneyland today, there is a replica of the rocket outside of Alien Pizza Planet. But for many years, there was a TWA rocket outside yeah. of uh, Flight to the Moon and Mission to Mars, et cetera, at Disneyland. TWA liked the rocket so much, they made a second one. And the second one was on the TWA building in Kansas City. So currently today in Kansas City, there is another replica of the rocket on what was the TWA building. It's no longer. TWA doesn't exist. But at the TWA Museum, they have the actual one that was on that building, which That's were cool. built. That's the cool. two of them were built simultaneously, one for Disneyland and one um, for the headquarters in Kansas City. I have a pen of that somewhere. Do you really? I do. That's cool. Yeah. I would have went to the museum, but everything in Kansas City is closed on Monday and Tuesday. Nah. Monday. <laughs> Worlds of Fun was open. You missed out. Uh, all right, uh, Grand, uh, Granville Island in Vancouver. I'm not showing any images or video from this because it's going to be, when we do the vlog from the Alaska cruise, it's going to be in it. I would have never went to Granville Island um, had it not been for Pleasure Island. Granville Island is the original inspiration for Pleasure Island. And if you go there, it is, there is no doubt. The Imagineers just copied the buildings. <laughs> like even the placement of the sign. The Pleasure Island Did side is... Do they have a is, moon guy? The, no. Uh, there's no. There's no moon guy and no Jessica Rabbit. No. Uh, no but Jessica's a Hollywood. But the billboard <laughs> sign is like in the same place on the same shaped building. Like there is no doubt they ripped off. And for those that don't know, the backstory of Pleasure Island is very much like you know, there was a storm and the factories were abandoned and it was turned into this, you know, nightclub district. The actual real life backstory of Granville Island is it was a number of factories in, into... Uh, in the early 1900s, up until like just after World War II, I think, 
Uh, and then it was abandoned. And then in the 80s, they all looked around and went, well, what are we going to do with this? And the idea was to turn it into a tourist destination, to turn it into a shopping, dining, and entertainment district. And that's where they got the idea. So they stole the backstory, too. They stole the backstory <laughs> from a real place. Yeah, it's yeah. fascinating. This it's, a real, is there a real fireworks factory there? No. Uh, that's no. Is it an active tourist de destination? Yeah. You oh, it's very active, and, and there's yeah. still, yeah, there's still restaurants and shops, mm. and the market is packed. That's it's cool. a major tourist destination for Vancouver. Yeah. No, it's. I think it's worth seeing. If you went to Pleasure Island and are a Disney fan, I think you have to go to Granville because you're just going to be like, wow, they really did just take all of this. And we ate, uh, we had lunch in the building that looks like um, what is now Morimoto, what was uh, Mannequins. But it's that we ate in that building, which was super cool. Does it have a revolving floor? It does not have a revolving floor. <laughs> After a couple of cocktails, it does. <laughs> but not to start, no. Um, another one was New Orleans. I, you know, I don't know. I wasn't a big partier or drinker um, in my younger days, so that wasn't a place I ever talked about going. And I think um, between the Port Orleans resorts and between New Orleans Square at Disneyland, um, like I, I, you know, I love the jambalaya at Disneyland, the beignets and such, and then the architecture. And I was like, that'd be a cool, that would be a cool place to go. And I went, and what what really struck me there, that was the first time I'd been somewhere that was directly based on a Disney park. And it's amazing, back then, how much they got right, like how much of the detail was real, right? What struck me was every shot. I'd always noticed in New Orleans Square, all the doorways have this intricate tile work on the ground, right? Yeah. That's a real thing in like every doorway in the French Quarter. That's a real, and Disney was like, we have to have that in every single doorway in New Orleans Square. Can't replicate that there. smell. No. <laughs> no, and they don't have like the fishbowl. There's not a bunch of people walking around with fishbowl cocktails yeah. at Disneyland yet. Um, <laughs> maybe soon. But um, yeah, so that was one that was definitely inspired by that. And we did, um, we did a ghost tour again because it's like, well, it's Haunted Mansion is based out of here. Let's, let's go on a real ghost tour and see like, how that translates, right? Um, but as far as places I haven't been that I want to go that are, uh, have places in the Disney parks inspired by them, uh, number one is I really want to do Route 66. That's the thing. I want to, number one, I love the We're movie gonna Cars. We're going to do it. Yeah, I love the movie Cars. Um, and then especially like sort of going through, the, the, going through Cars Land and seeing the interpretation of it. I'm like, I'd really like to see the real thing. Mm. I'm very curious what the real thing is. I've been at the start. Comparison. Have you? Yeah, because that's in Chicago. Yeah. So it's a it's a gorgeous fountain in yeah. Chicago. That's the start of Route 66. Cool. I haven't been to Chicago yet either. That's another place to go. So that's a good is, excuse. is an experience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and go yeah. see Walt Disney's birthplace. That's the yeah. only That's the only house he's lived in I have not been to. Yeah, that's the last one I got to see. Um, Hawaii, um, as a kid, my favorite thing in Disney World, there, was a, there were three things that I was infatuated with, right? It was, it was, Where's it, Moana? It was, no, no. <laughs> it was Journey into Imagination. Did someone say <laughs> Hawaii? <laughs> Journey to Imagination, Delta Dream Flight, and Tiki Room. Those were my three things. <laughs> Those were my, my three things as a kid. So I've always loved Tiki Room, and so Moana's you know, your everywhere I've lived, there's always been like a corner of the house that's covered in Tiki Room stuff or Polynesian Resort stuff or whatever. I would really like to go to the place that inspired all of that. I would like to see the real thing. Um, I love the Polynesian. I love Trader Sam's. I love, you know, all this weird '60s Americana, you know, Hawaiian interpretation stuff. Um, you know, the tiki culture of the '60s. Love that. I would love to see. Um, where that is actually all from. I think that would be fascinating. So that's another one. And then the other thing is, is Bryce Canyon, which is the inspiration for uh, Big Thunder Mountain, specifically at Disneyland. Um, I would very much like to see that. Those are, those are like my top three right now of non-Disney places I would like to get to in the next few years. Those are, that's the, the short list. I've obviously been to Hawaii many times because my grandparents lived there and yeah. went there growing up. But the most recent time we went, my grandparents got us two nights at Aulani. And I'm not sure if it's because they love me that much or because they wanted the two toddlers out of the house for a couple of <laughs> nights. 
Yeah. Either way, you'll take it. Yeah. And now Desi has a list of places from Disney's Animal Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go to every continent in the park. Here's me at Dino Land US. Here's me on top of Mount Everest. Here I am with Indiana Jones. Here's me. Here I am at the, the Casa Madrigal. <laughs> they let me hold the candle. <laughs> Me and a bunch of Thompson's gazelles. <laughs> <laughs> Tommies, they call Tommies. Oh my God! Don't get her started, oh, no, please. Tommies. Please. I think we have super chats. Let's see. I don't know if any of them are going to apply to this. We'll see. Uh, we saw that one already. Uh, Al Veris, uh, again, Brazilian fifty-four. I don't know what the name of their currency is. Fifty-four ninety. Tom and everyone from Walt Disney World, you, your word spreads further than you think. Me and my family always watch you and love the way you bring uh -huh. news and interesting facts to us. Much love from Brazil. Much love Aww. back. Thank you so much for watching. It was very kind, very sweet. Thank you. John Malkin, 2577. Yeah. <laughs> it's 257. It's a good one. I like that one. Uh. Kyle Murray, Canadian 699. That's like a dollar. Uh, wait, all of you have been to Canada and can't back me up on the exchange rate? <laughs> I, I processed my bill after the trip. I think it cost me six dollars. <laughs> I spent six dollars in Canada Not for seven. food and hotel. And I was too over busy trying to figure days, out if the milk in a bag was a better idea than we have or a worse idea. It's a nickel. Yeah. You give them an American nickel, and they're like, "Take what you want." Here's milk in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. No, thank you, Kyle. The Rickster, five dollars. If you go to Japan, you can see the real water uh, tori on Mi My Mihahima near Hiroshima. I just got back from there this week, and it was amazing. I don't know what that is. I'm going to look it up. You should have had Nick read that one. No. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> we got plenty Probably of those. Probably Mi Mihahima. Yeah. He's saving himself for the game later. Keith Warby, uh, that's five. Uh, is that, that's not euro. What is that? Pounds. 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 In Sussex, we have the real 100-acre forest with Pooh Bridge. Uh, worth the visit due to lots of other Disney ties. WWE and team are awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Aww, Keith. That's awesome. Yeah, I still I haven't that's been over awesome. there yet. He did do that. It's even more impressive. They're still awake. <laughs> yeah, what time is it? There? It's like five hours later. Oh, no. Someone's setting you up for a story here. <laughs> Pal W, $2. Tom, you're going to JFK. We need to go to TWA Terminal. I actually am staying at the TWA Hotel on the way back because my flight lands late and there's no f uh, there's no flight to Orlando that night so I do have a one night stay at the TWA hotel but I also I always flew um, when I lived in New York we always flew JetBlue so I've, you know, I've seen the terminal a million times for those that don't know JetBlue um, built the new terminal B behind what was the TWA terminal and now the TWA terminal is a very cool hotel that's very expensive uh, JL, $10. The old smoking area on the secret trail between Fantasyland and Tomorrowland inspired me to go to Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Oh, great. <laughs> this God. It's even better when it's the treat trail. Yeah, and Alice in Wonderland, all three together. Yeah. <laughs> Matt S999. In Savannah, Georgia, there's a house that inspired the Haunted Mansion. Thanks for all you guys do. Oh, cool. Savannah's amazing. That's what for, that's another place I want to go. That's not it's not there's no Disney I guess there is a Disney yeah. connection. But the truth is you can find a Disney connection anywhere you go, right? And that's something we're gonna Wayfair talk about more <laughs> Wayfair.com. Wow. <laughs> IKEA. Oh boy. Is there anything else I don't know if there's any non super chats well, I missed. Hang on, we got another where in Chicago is Walt's house? I have no idea. You could, I would Google it. I, I don't know the exact neighborhood. Some people in the chat were saying that they went to Bucky's because of. Where is it? Palmer and Trip. Palmer and Trip? Yeah. Those are the street names? Yeah. What's the neighborhood? It's, uh, I think it's Hermosa. Hermosa? Okay. Well, the great thing is we have Google now. So people at home can Google it and find out. Um, you got another super chip. Yeah. Oh, is there another one? Uh, let's say what I think it says. Is it fat? Yeah. Fat tested travel. Fat tested travel. Jason. Is it you from the crowd? <laughs> Brazilian real, like Big Al. I should shout it, but I thought I'd just double my ticket price. <laughs> you know, you guys are the worst. Um, I don't see anything necessarily. Okay. Well, all right, we're going to take a commercial break. Still to come tonight, 
Uh, lost in translation. Nick's going to embarrass himself. Stick, embarrass himself. Stick around. Maybe we'll find that hey. bear. Oh, I have to do something else? No. <laughs> That resort chair. On September the 10th, after years of waiting for our Lord and Savior to return to us, the portal opened and the spark was reignited. My people, he is risen! One little spark of inspiration. God is a purple God. Is that the heart? All creation. God is a purple God. Right at the start of everything that's new. One little spark lights up for you. A dream can be a dream come true. Our God, God is a purple God. Our God is a purple God. He reigns over the future world with imagination. Our God is a purple God. Our God is a purple God. something that belongs to all of us. Support the third coming of Figment now at the Image Works under the crystal pyramids of the Imagination Pavilion. Only in our holiest of lands, Epcot. Our God is a purple God. Our God is a purple God. Courageous and caring, faithful and friendly, with stories to share. All through the forest, they sing out in chorus, marching along while their song fills the air. Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventure that's beyond compare. They are the gummy bears. Magic and mystery are part of their history, along with the secret of gummy berry juice. Their legend is growing, and they take pride in knowing they'll fight for what's right, whatever they choose. Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. High adventure that's beyond compare. They are the gummy bears. They are the gummy bears. They are the gummy bears. It's the Beach Club Solarium. this week's resort chair. Aw. It was a tough one. It was not the nanny chair. That was a deep cut. Yeah. Nanny chair. Solarium? Who yeah. doesn't love the solarium? Oh, it's I a love great the hangout solarium. spot. Yeah. Yeah. Now repainted. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's been refreshed. Yeah. There's new art in there. Do they still have, like, a coffee stand in there or anything? I don't know if the coffee stand is still there. It's, it's always mm. been a weird space. Yeah. Yeah. It's always been weird. Uh, let's find out what's available this week at your local supermarket. In honor of the closing of the Star Cruiser, Lieutenant LaCroix! <laughs> <laughs> for the order <laughs> and for drinking. <laughs> oh, best journey. But I don't know if anyone that works Star Cruiser watches this show. Probably not. Most people don't. Um, but if anybody does, I like, uh, wish you guys a very happy, uh, very fun final week. Thank you guys for what you did. Uh, it was a hell of an experience, and it will be dearly missed. Um, but anyway, 
Uh, what else? What are what's we doing here? Let's see. Oh, we got what's coming up on the show. Well, next week it's nothing. We're not here. Uh, but on October 5th, we are back with Liquid Magic from the Tip Top Club at the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Yes. Please. And also we're going to play the kazoo game. Kazoo! Yeah, I don't know what, why you're yelling kazoo, but all right. Um, on October 12th, we're going to do the Design Your Own Halloween Horror Nights house. That's going to be an experience. Uh, Allie's definitely in for that, Rob. She's She's very excited. Oh, yeah. You have to let her on now. Well, I have to. Yeah, you have to. You I, said... the, I asked last year. So I, I know. She she's like, so excited yeah. about it. No, she's absolutely in for that. Uh, and then on October 19th, we're going to play uh, my personal favorite game, the DFB Food Toss Halloween Edition. Ooh. Yes, yeah, a spooky a spooky toss of cupcakes. Uh, tickets available at www.newstonight.com. It's worth uh, mentioning that the week after that um, will be our... Uh, Treat fairly trail. scary Halloween party, our annual tradition here at WW News Tonight, our Halloween show. Yes, there will be a tree trail and much more here in the studio. That's our, is that October 26th, right? Yeah. Um, October 26th episode is the fairly scary mm. Halloween party. Nice. Tickets are available for that show and all shows through the end of the year. www.newstonight.com, the place to get those tickets. And of course, you can watch them right here on WDWNT TV. And we thank you for doing so. But Nick, who brings us news tonight every week? News tonight is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. Head over to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT and their team will design your next magical vacation from Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resorts to the cruise line to Adventures by Disney and more. They're also able to book unforgettable VIP tours where you and your group can experience the ultimate park day. The best part is their concierge services are free. So book today. Thank you, Nick. Do we have comments? Do we have comments? Look at this. There was a bear at the Magic Kingdom. Walt Disney comments. presents. We're not going to start with the bear, Tom. No? We're going to start with pepperoni pizza spring roll. Oh, no. Yes. They're back. They returned to the Magic Kingdom. At Rob Blutter wrote, why does this ever leave the menu? This ain't McDonald's, and this is definitely not a McRib. OK. Yeah. Although, uh, like the McRib, both will kill you. Yes. <laughs> yes, for sure. You can feel your arteries closing while you eat either of these. Speaking of McDonald's, do we have those nuggets yet? <laughs> no. OK. We sent, we sent Darius out to get them. He never ah, came back. Yeah. <laughs> Keystone Clothier's doorway oh, re no. reopens. <laughs> Almost uh, Unfinished. Year. Nearly a year after being broken. Uh, Nerd E tweets wrote, you can't expect them to fix this stuff that quick. It's not like there are companies building literal theme parks just down the road right now or anything. A doorway facade takes years of work and planning. Years. Years. Do you have another comment? No. Um, what do you have to say I can about say this. this. I'm so mad they did this with, uh, I'll, I'll do this. I'm so mad they did this with only a few days to go to the first anniversary. Yeah. What we were going to do was we were going to go to Publix and get a birthday cake. And we were going to go sing happy birthday to the wall. Wow. And then they put the doorway in it. I'm so mad. We were so close. We were going to go, like, four or five of us were going to go. We were going to have candles, and we are going to go stand in front of the door and Aww. sing happy birthday. And now it'll, now it'll never happen. Aww. Yeah. New Avengers Vault store opened in Avengers Campus. Yeah. At Mickey McMarsh wrote, remember when this was going to be an e-ticket ride? Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> you know, it was, it was going to be at the exit of that, yeah. Mm. I'll just stay over here. <laughs> so, uh, Tom, you caught this. This was, this was great. Jay sent us a, a tweet. Uh, you can show the picture here. Hey, Nick's Maxi van. I didn't know you were up in Boston. <laughs> oh, look at that. It says Nick's on it. And he's wearing a 
And there's a cop Can't, behind it. And there's a <laughs> Can we get our lawyers on that? I think they wow. stole our... Uh, They're kind of busy arguing with Pinar Toprak oh, right now. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Real bear in tree yeah. in Magic Kingdom. Real bear right. what? What? What did it do? It was a tree. Oh, in the tree. In the I tree. Think it meant like entry into Magic no, Kingdom. Like, oh, in the say? tree. In the Real tree. bear entry to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> All right. Je Jefferson wrote, uh, investigators revealed that the bear was actually Bob Chapek in a bear suit. Allegedly, Chapek's motive was to close Country Bear Jamboree for good, to which Chapek confessed, and I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. You know. God. Um, at, uh, Mike Granny uh, wrote, Chapek, this wouldn't happen with a Toy Story marionette show. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't Boy. have puppets running around the Magic Kingdom. No. Uh, Joseph wrote in, this tail is missing. Tom sure has an uphill fight this time around. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> wow. What is uh, it with bears in Magic Kingdom, man? Uh, George wrote in, they're getting really strict on needing a reservation before visiting the park. They're kicking out the bear. Yeah, uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I know, that was a bad one. Sorry. <laughs> um, Vince wrote in, had to be Liver Lips protesting his new name. Austin Corey wrote in, Brer Bears looking for Splash Mountain. Mm. Kay Babbitt wrote in, probably when Disney is redoing the Country Bear Jamboree and it was there for a tryout. <laughs> and like everyone else, the, the tryout song was I'm Just Ken. At Disney, Mike, uh, bats at pirates, bears in Frontierland, Imagineers plussing everything, just like Walt envisioned it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, at Halogen Art, hopefully we can get Eric's side of the story on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at Dis Generations, are we sure this wasn't a maxi bear? Oddly <laughs> suspicious, Nick. I don't think so. Wasn't the maxi bear a thing on, on Gravity Falls? Multi bear. Oh, multi bear. The multi bear. God. Uh, I think we tweeted out this graphic. Okay, who was it? <laughs> yep, we sure did. Yeah. <laughs> to which at Disney Mike replied, lots of news about Eric Morton today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a few more. Um, oh, I'm in my own box now. Look at this. Matt, <laughs> Fancy. Look at that. Here's a photo of me at the desk. Here's <laughs> <laughs> Magic Kingdom bear safely released into Ocala National Forest. Yeah. At Disney, Red Pill wrote, I am so lost. Why can't I find any Mickey bars? No churros. And worst of all, no cheeseburger egg rolls. Why couldn't I have been released at Animal Kingdom? Your pepperoni. Yeah, now they're pepperoni. <laughs> At Synergy 345 wrote, even though they couldn't find Tom Corliss last week in Where in the World, some lucky winner caught Eric Morton in Frontierland <laughs> behind the Magic Tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't stop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, at Sea Fields, VFL, the bear said, uh, so does this mean my dining reservation is canceled? <laughs> And the last one from Disney Mike. This week on Nintendo Switch, Bears of the Kingdom. Wow. Well, that's go. great. There we go. Oh, boy. Thank you, Nick. So those are what the is, comments. What is... Uh, do not worry. Uh, Agent Rick, last name, not first. Uh, and I have caught the bear. Um, this it was so out of stupid. season. I found it in Nick's maxi van, watching that thing you do and using a foot bath. This actually works really a lot better than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. Can we stop this? I don't even this know what you guys are talking about with the bear thing. People on YouTube said something about a bear. People on Twitter, can we stop yeah, this? Yeah, they said you're a bear. I don't even know what that means. I'm, I, I'm not explaining this one. 
This confirms this is, that this uh, show is childish bullshit, by the way. <laughs> Pretty sure that's how I got hired. <laughs> I mean, this is the first real bear she's caught all night. Uh, Thank careful you. about my price tag, <laughs> Sabrina. Yeah. You'll bend it. <laughs> Can I go, please? I, um, I think I'm going to go. <laughs> See, there wasn't a real bear in the studio. It was just Eric. <laughs> That's not a real bear. <laughs> I mean, that, <laughs> depends on your definition. It's out of season, but still a bear. You should explain it to him. He still doesn't get it. <sighs> I always have to do the hard things. Okay, let's just, hello, hello, just double checking. Still clear. Okay. Wow, look at how much more space we have. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, the Rickster, $5. No, that's old. Tony Stank, 199 Figment fell for your sins twice, you know. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. A ducking wrestling podcast, 999. Man, I almost missed it. On tonight's Tom Explained Wrestling, Tom tells us that the time Chris Jericho added a little something extra to a T of Commissioner William he peed in it. That's it. Okay, next. <laughs> Keith Warby, two, two uh, pounds. 600 plus people in the chat, less than 150 likes. Why? I agree. Why? Everyone should hit the like button if they think Eric Morton is a bear. Hit the like button if you think he's a bear. <laughs> and instantly there were 600 likes. Uh. That's how we'll do it. All right, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, Lost in Translation, stick around. of the galaxy we got recruited by the resistance and now we're ready come on dad we gotta go see the ship guys we just got back from dinner give me 10 minutes i have three bowls of that blue shrimp oh, everything's blue the star wars galactic star cruiser is fully booked for the next several months but you can still enjoy Orlando's second best two-night, three-day story resort experience with the WDW News Tonight Expensive and Immersive Fake Cruise. The experience begins when you park at WDWNT Celebration. You'll then be loaded into Nick's windowless box truck, driven around the building and dropped off at the back of the same building. To not break any immersion, Nick will blindfold you as he walks you into the studio. I mean, resort. Then, our friendly and courteous team will whisk you to your private, luxurious quarters. Each cabin comes with a sleeping area, entertainment center, comlink, and a window to the outside. Use your comlink to have a discussion with innovative, interactive droid helper Russ the Robot anytime you'd like. Dine on a fine buffet before the show, just like the WDW News Tonight staff does. When it's showtime, get back into the box truck for a ride back to the front of the building so you can have the same experience as the people who paid 10 to $0 to be at the show. After enjoying WDW News Tonight, it's back into the box truck to be taken back to the totally real cruise ship. Back on board, experience story moments with characters sort of like the ones you know from the show and become a part of the action with bingo and dance lessons from Pete Carney. Stop at the Liquid Magic Lobby Bar for a cocktail that is mostly on the floor, but some is in your cup. And of course, enjoy a fantastic dinner show with the only performer who agreed to return, Piano Rob. All this and more is waiting for you tonight at the WDW News Tonight Expensive and Immersive Fake Cruise. Book now. Do we a tailspin? Oh, we owe tailspin. 
friends with life through thick and thin with another tailspin. Spit it. Do we a tailspin or we o tailspin? All the trouble we get in with another tailspin. Well, spin it, let's begin it, baby, and grin it when you're in it. You can win it in a minute if you spin it, spin it, spin it. Tail spin. And do we a tail spin? Oh, we owe tail spin. Friends who lie through thick and thin with another tail spin. Oh, we a tail spin. Oh, we owe tail spin. All the trouble we get in with another tail spin. Nick, first, uh, before we get to the game, we need to find out what's coming out this week on Nintendo 64? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a bear and a bird, not a bear and a bat. I didn't know. That is so good. That's not how I remember Banjo-Kazooie. I love it. Well, all right. That is, is it, this show this show has been a great mighty poo all night. Time to get to the game. What it Nick, watch out, there's a bear! <laughs> I'd like I'd like to say that I've been vindicated. There was a bear in the studio. Don't y'all worry, I've been raising her since she was young and just as my own. <laughs> this here is my bear daughter. Uh, her lady name is Lib Bear T Bell. <laughs> And uh, we're just taking her down to the Ocala National Forest to get away from all these folks. Point, point her that way so the <laughs> audience can see the bear. There you go. There hey, Maker, your, your legs girl, look girl. shorter. <laughs> well, you know that riding a bear changes a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's a hell of a long trip up there to Ocala. Got me a lot of these energy drinks. You want any of this? No, I'm good, thanks. What is it? Oh, it's a Mountain Dew energy drink? Well, hell yeah, it's Mountain Dew energy drink. Pomegranate the... Blue Burst. Oh, yeah. You Mr. didn't have to tell Blue, people that. Mr. Blue Burst on my shoulder. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Did you say it's ter ter bearable? <laughs> no. It's un It's unbearable! <laughs> I can turn sideways to your tricks. So <laughs> Two tricks. Ride, <laughs> spin around, climb a tree. But we're going to get on up to the Ocala National Forest. Thought we'd come say fairly well. Oh, ow! That's my toe! <laughs> Damn, man. All right, I'm, Nick ain't even talking to me. Huh? No. <laughs> that, that, that bear catch, you better stay away from me. I'm just, I'm just making sure we make it safely. To you leave Liberty <laughs> Bell alone. I, have I a see net your deadly net. <laughs> with her name on it, it says it right there. I think probably Haymaker old. Haymaker's probably better armed than you are, man. <laughs> it's not a horse. <laughs> it's the best I got right now. <laughs> there was a bear in a tree. There was a bear up in the tree. Is there more to that? Another thing to think about in life. Look for the bear up in the tree. It makes these lands see really theme. There's a bear up in the tree, all right. Retro Red with the super chat. We got to see a bear riding a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the eighth wonder of the world. <laughs> the, Speaking of mannequins. The bear on bear action. <laughs> Please do do a game or something. All right. 
time to play our favorite game so show, Lost in Translation. Do I have a specific one that is mine? Got it. All right. Let's bring our two contestants up to the stage, Jason and Brandon. Come on up here. How you doing, guys? Great. Fantastic. I think we're all in frame. Uh-oh. There we go. You got, got some tall there's people There's a lot there. of folk. There's a lot of space. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of space. All right. So we're all here. Speaking all right. Well, uh, Jason and Brandon, thank you for volunteering to play <laughs> Lost in Translation. Uh, for this game, I'm going to be reading some clues, right? And, and there's going to be a word in there that is, is not written in English. It is a, for, a foreign language. And I'm going to read that word. You're going to have to, based on the clue and the, the, the word, translate it into English. And if you think you know it, you buzz in. I'm going to give you buzzer number one. How you doing? There's buzzer number two. And if you think you know it, you buzz in. First one to buzz in gets it right. If you get it wrong, I will uh, give the clue to the other person, and they can try it as well. All right? All right? That's as easy as that. They're starting us off kind of easy. They're starting me off kind of easy, you guys off kind of easy. I, th this one's all in English for some reason. You have to give me the translation into a different language, actually, in this, this one. But you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So they're starting us off easy. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Here is the first clue in Lost in Translation. An American English speaker may translate it to the tequila seller, but we better know this location as... Is anyone... Oh, crap. There's uh, Lavaca... You, uh, you did buzz in. Yeah. Did I not hear anything? Did we... Is there... Hey, push your buzzer. There we there go. There it is. All right. Is it a gunshot? I don't. I don't know. That's weird. Why is it a gunshot? All right. We get Jason. Uh, Lavaca. Let's say La I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I have no I'm idea. lost. It is not Lavaca. Brandon, do you think you know this one? Um, the Secret Life of Water. It also no. is not that. No. no. La Cava de Tequila. Oh, there it is. Yes. Yeah, well. All right. The movie, um, by the way, is, is the shape of water, <laughs> not whatever was just said. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good time. We're going to be great at this. <laughs> so I hit mine, and that activates theirs. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. OK, excellent. All right, cool. All right, here is the next one. If Epcot was located in Dutch Belgium, then this restaurant may have been called Rue Emit 220. Brandon. Space 220? Space 220, that is correct. All right, one point for Brandon. Nice job. All right, that's how the game goes. There you go. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Less work for me. I appreciate that. All right, question number three. Farmer Mickey likes to hang out at Huayuan Se Akeo Jaya, which is Chinese for this. Where does Farmer Mickey like to hang out? I know the first word. I can't. <laughs> Farmer Mickey We're likes to hang out at Hayawan Shea Kayo Jaya, uh, which is Chinese for this. Jason. Garden uh, Grill? Yeah. yeah thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Garden Grill, you got it. Yeah, nice job. One point yeah, good work. Jason. It's like a half point each. There you go. Yeah. Good teamwork there. Yeah. We're not right. garden people. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We love the French McDonald's. <laughs> All right, it's you know so what? different from the American one. <laughs> Did you guys bring your own chicken nuggets? Can we no. No, 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 yeah. one? no, okay. Rich, it's Royale with cheese, sir. <laughs> All right, question number four. 
If this seafood restaurant was in Morocco, it might be called this in Arabic. Coral Don't reef. I gotta read it. Oh, yeah, you read it, please. Shayib marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Marjania. You said coral reef? Yes. Yes, you got that right. That's the first one Rob knew. <laughs> no, I don't. Excellent I'm just guessing. Job. I want to make a joke, but I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Two points for Brent. All right, question number five. If this pub was set in Mexico, it may be called Rosa y Cornea in Spanish. <laughs> of a beer. <laughs> uh, who was, I, That's me. You got it. You got it. Right. Rosen Crown. Please. Rosen Crown it is. Yes. Very good job. That's three points. It's three to one, Brandon. Here is question number six. If Hawaii ever took over this Chinese restaurant, it could be called <laughs> Iwa. Dangerosa, God, God. Deranga. Iwa Deranga. I know. Of course. Is it uh, Nine Dragons? Is it Nine Dragons? It yeah. is! Couldn't remember the number. <laughs> Got it right. All right, three to two. Here's the next question. If this German walk up was Greek, it might be renamed. Calo Corone Parte. I have no idea what it's called. German walk up? Yeah, if this German walk up was Greek, it might be called Calo Corone Parte. I forgot to study. Yeah. Mm. German oh. walk up location. Beer garden? Yeah, it is not beer garden. It is Summerfest. Summer, Summer fest. <laughs> yes. All right, next question. You would think we would know restaurants better. <laughs> you would think. Yeah. Yeah. Beer garden's fantastic. You've been there? It's great. Yeah. <laughs> All right. At the Irish named pretzel, what? Pretzel Bacala Agros Cave. That's not how you say that. You can find school <laughs> bread. <laughs> At the Irish named Pretzel Bacala Agus Kayef, you can find school bread. Oh. I'm just here to look pretty. <laughs> You're doing a great You're job. You're nailing it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where can you find school um, bread? I don't remember. At that place I walk into after I get off of Frozen. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to do any better pronouncing this one. <laughs> Kringla Bakery. <laughs> Oh, oh calf. No. It's cafe. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> it's a bakery and cafe. This is a mm. difficult game. All right. If I if I just start looking at the chat, is that how? <laughs> no, they're thirty seconds behind. Oh, okay. Phys mentally and with the delay. <laughs> <laughs> they're not more behind than I am. J just so you know, one of them said 10 dragons, if you want to trust them. <laughs> All right. Nice. Oh, that's for Josh. Josh was the 10th. Right? Yeah. All right. If Brazil named this Moroccan restaurant, it might have been called Mesa de Estrada de Especiarias <laughs> in Portuguese. Good grief. Might be. Mesa de Estrada de Estrada. I think that was one of the endings of Horizons. <laughs> but we now know this the Brazilian currency is called the Real. 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 That's right. <laughs> if Brazil Let's named see. this Moroccan restaurant. No? I guess it's all right. It is Spice Road Table. We're Spice over Road Spice Road, Road, Road Table. All right. Next up. If this Italian wine cellar were to be moved to India, it may be called Sabi Savad Vein Salar. 
I'll let you take a stab. In Hindi. No idea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this Italian wine cellar would be moved to India. It may be called no. No. Sabhi Svavad Vain. Solar. I moved to town on Monday. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I can't afford all this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you don't know you're Hindi. It's Tudo Busto Wine Cellar. Oh, Gusto. What? <laughs> it does say, no, it says Busto. I swear. <laughs> that is not a G. What's that? Is that a G or a B? That is a B. That's a B. It's a B. Cicero is, is an Looks Italian like bee. Busto. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> All right. Only a few more left. <laughs> I know. Sweating it too, guys. <laughs> if Japan took over this French signature dine location, it might be renamed Misuta Furo. Whoa, Brandon. Somebody knows something! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> is it uh, Monsieur Paul? Monsieur Paul is right. No. The elephant says yes. Hey, I'm right here. No, it was an <laughs> elephant sound. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, here we go. If this restaurant was located in Kenya, it might be called... Pishy la steakhouse. <laughs> this restaurant was in Kenya. It might be called Pishy la steakhouse in Swahili. I have no idea. La Pisha Steakhouse. <laughs> no. <laughs> la Cellier Steakhouse. <laughs> Cellier. Cellier. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> you were close. I was close. We're, we're getting close. this. Where we are. We're steakhouse, and I'm calling it that. Lapicious. I just want people to have to say it. <laughs> uh, All right, next up. You might be delighted to find your food being cooked in front of you at Piastra in Ferro Edo. Which is Italian for what? Piastra in Ferro. Can't remember Edo. the name of it. Yes. Uh, Tapan Edo? Yes! You got it. Good job. Thank you to the one person. <laughs> All right. We got two left. Oh, no. What's the score? What's the score? <laughs> three to three? All right, sounds good. Tie score. <laughs> I don't know if it's tied up. Uh, it's three to, I mean, it's three to four. Do we know who has four? Yes. Brandon has four. <laughs> they know. <laughs> I'm supposed to count and read. <laughs> After this, I'm taking everyone to La Pisa State. Yeah. All right, here we go. If this American counter service. This is worse than the bear on bear action. <laughs> Nothing is worse than the bear on bear action. <laughs> no. No. That's, uh, yeah. No. Why do people uh -uh. watch? <laughs> I don't understand. Take your time. I don't want to have Just to say they're, that. Just because they're being babysat so. by the, for their spouse. All right. If this, um, <laughs> if this American counter service was moved to the German pavilion, you might be ordering at Conglish Allergere. Conglish, oh, that was close. Yeah, that wasn't bad. <laughs> Conglish, someone with the turkey legs. Like yeah, the no. name Adler of Sherry, this American counter service location. Is it La Gleesh Steakhouse? <laughs> Conglish. Conglish. The Regal Eagle yeah. Smokehouse oh. is what we're looking yeah. for. Regal Eagle. We eat at a lot of locations. <laughs> the final clue. Here we go. All right. Entering World Showcase. You may stop at... <laughs> for... No. <laughs> oh, my God. You may stop at for Friskin Shaven. <laughs> 
which is Norwegian for this, for what happened to Nick's neck beard. <laughs> Remember. You may stop that for friskin shaving. I'm from California. And during World Showcase, you may stop that for friskin shaving, which is, is Norwegian, Norwegian what? for this. <laughs> Excuse me? I don't know how you didn't get this. <laughs> Refreshment <laughs> post. Oh, port. that's port. 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 We wanted to make sure we were consistent. He pointed at it and said the wrong thing. Post. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think our final score is Brandon four, Jason three. I remembered their name. Yeah. Hey, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's true. Thank you guys wow. for playing Lost in Translation. Oh, thank you. We'll oh get you some God. four bucks for that. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> and that's the cannonball means that's the game. That's the game. <laughs> Davy Sitter, $20. Only at WWD can we see a, a Gitmo Marine riding an inflatable bear. Yeah. Eric, we need you on that wall. We want to see you on that wall. Semper Fi. I don't know if that's a bear thing or a Navy thing. I don't know. Marine, whatever. <laughs> I've wow. never, I've never served. Sorry. Uh, anyway, is that it? Is that all the super chats? Oh wow! Everyone went to bed once that game started. I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. About time. Anyway, what we had a show. Yeah, that was. That was we good. have a post. You threw everything all over my desk. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Are you staying for the post show since yeah. we're off next week? I don't know. No, you're not. You're like, oh, you no, saw no. that? Yeah, I saw it. I'm standing here. I'm like, po post! Post! And it says port. <laughs> Peanut Noir. <laughs> Peanut Nowhere, my favorite Star Wars character. <laughs> There's an elephant in the rotunda. Yeah, that means he got it wrong. Oh. <laughs> when do we throw the peanut, though? That's our show. There's a post show for Wigs members. We're off next week. We'll be back October 5th. And remember, kids, uh, don't watch any bear on bear action. Good night. <laughs>